Um, I think uh, the test probably shifted in their favor when we batted in the first innings. Um, because we were looking to bat long and we were not able to do that. And I don't think there was enough application shown by us as a batting unit. Uh, something that we take a lot of pride in. Um, and yeah, we uh, look these milestones and, and all these kind of things is, is not something that we think about. We think partnerships and we think uh, putting the team into good, good positions. So whether someone has scored a century or not in the last five games is not something that matters to us. We want to be able to have long partnerships and in, in that process, if people get to a big milestone and carry on, it's good. Uh, even if someone had gotten 100 uh, in either innings, still we were pretty much uh, behind the game. So that's what we need to understand rather than thinking about milestones and, and you know what we haven't been able to achieve as batsmen in terms of scoring centuries and all that stuff. Uh, for us, it's about trying to win a game of cricket. And if um, we need to play solid cricket, we should be able to do, do that as batsmen as well. There's just not one way to, to play the game. And, and uh, as a batting unit, we understand that quite well. And our endeavour in the future games is going to be long partnerships and not necessarily focus on getting 100 as, as uh, individuals. Captain, well, that's some, something that was said when Australia won the first test as well in 2017. So, look, it's we don't jump the gun. We don't uh, come to conclusions too early as a side. For us, the focus is the next test match and bouncing back into the series. And something that we take a lot of pride in as a team. Uh, so our focus is going to be that what's said on the outside, what is perceived, what is being uh, discussed is something that, that doesn't bother us at all. Uh, we've never really focused on that and we won't um, do that moving forward as well as a team. And um, yeah, the, you could say they are well prepared, but if to say they are better prepared than us in our own conditions is, is not an accurate uh, assessment um, because I feel that uh, if you look at the second innings when the ball was really turning and bouncing, um, you know both the sides were were pretty much similar in terms of you know how uh, they went about their second innings, and I, I think more of that uh, challenge uh, in the future games. Maybe you can analyze then whether we are better prepared or they are better prepared, and you know um, <clears throat> whether this is our toughest challenge or not. We are not uh, jumping any guns yet, uh, and we are just focused on playing good cricket and winning Test matches. Because when you're playing two off-spinners, Kuldeep more or less becomes a similar kind of spinner taking the ball away. So you need variety in the bowling attack. Uh, we were quite clear on what we wanted to play, what combination we wanted to play. And uh, there are no regrets whatsoever on that decision. And uh, moving forward, uh, we will think of combinations which brings us variety uh, as a bowling attack. And not, not one-dimensional where the ball is only turning away from the bat. So these things are very important to understand. Ajinkya is... I've said this many a times in the past as well, along with Pujara, he is our uh, most important test batsman and he's going to continue to be. Um, we believe in his abilities, we have believed in his abilities for a long time now and he's an impact player. Uh, if you're talking about the MCG test, he stood up and he scored 100 when the team wanted it most. So, you know, you, you can look at number of innings and what happens from there on. The reality of the situation is we won the series in Australia. Um, and here there's just one test, two innings and both, I mean today, yes, you can put that innings aside but in the first innings he wanted to score a boundary. It was a, it was a brilliant catch by Joe that, that got rid of him. So if it, that goes for a boundary, he gets runs in the first innings then we're not having this conversation. So there are absolutely no issues, everyone's playing really well. Um, we just need to be focused a lot more. Understand that test victories are earned uh, in any conditions, whether they are your own or you're playing away from home. Nothing is given in test cricket. And we need to um, you know, be aware of that reality and work together as a team to keep putting a lot of pressure on the opposition. That's our focus. Uh, sir, two things are in situation to understand in this situation. We have as a bowling unit, we have not collectively good bowling. If we talk about fast bowlers and Ashwin, we have done consistent bowling. We have done good bowling in three areas. But I think uh, Baki, Washi or Shahbaz bhi agar utne hi uh, economical spells dalte to pressure zyada create hota hai, situation aur alag ho sakti hai, aapke 80, 90, 100 run kam ho sakte opposition ke. Plus, agar batting point of view se dekhe first innings mein, agar aap 70, 80 run zyada jod dete hai, to match almost equal, uh, you know, situation mein pahunch jata hai. To zyada kuch sochne ki baat nahi hai, uh, hume sirf continuously unpe pressure bana ke rakhna hoga. और अगर हम वो करेंगे तो हमें पूरा बिलीफ है कि हम लोगों को वो रिजल्ट्स मिलेंगे जो हम एज अ साइड 
बहुत बार ले चुके हैं और आगे भी पूरा हमें कॉन्फिडेंस है कि अगर हम वो चीज़ें ठीक करेंगे तो हमारे प्रोसेस हमें फिर से वही रिजल्ट देंगे और एज अ बैटिंग यूनिट भी आपने जैसे बोला कि ज़रूरी हो जाता है कि आप जितना क्लोज आ सकें उनके टोटल के वहाँ पे एक मैच में एक क्रूशल जो जहाँ पे मैच पलट सकता है वो फेज हमें कैपिटलाइज करना थोड़ा और ज़रूरी हो जाता है एज अ बैटिंग यूनिट सो दो एक दो चीज़ें हैं जो हमें सोचने की और इम्प्रूव करने की हैं उससे ज़्यादा कुछ सोचने का नहीं है क्योंकि सेकेंड इनिंग्स में अगर आप दोनों टीम्स की बैटिंग देखें तो काफ़ी बराबर से मैच पैन आउट हुआ बट फर्स्ट इनिंग्स का डिफरेंस मैसिव हो गया उनकी बॉलिंग और हमारी बॉलिंग में और उनकी बैटिंग और हमारी बैटिंग में जो हमें इंप्रूव करना होगा